Hello everyone. Welcome to our course of data analysis using SQL Server. Thanks for stopping by and watching this promo. This course is for anyone who wants to enter or excel in the data analytics field. Why learn data analysis? Well, as they say, now we are living in the age of information. The internet has made it easy for anyone to gather whatever information that they need to achieve whatever end they desire. The applications are now collecting enormous data. There is a massive global shortage of data analytics professional. Do you still want me to give at least one reason why to learn data analysis? I will give you five. High demand for analytics professionals. Huge job opportunities. Great salary aspects. Data analytics is now a top priority in a lot of organizations. Flexibility of working in any sector. A bit of myself. I have more than eight years of experience in data analytics field. I have worked in various domains such as supply chain, telecommunications, and healthcare sector. I have mixed my knowledge and experience using SQL into a short course. What you will learn in this course? We will start from very basics and slowly reach more in-depth modules so that by the end of this course, you will have the raw skills to do some real data analysis for your company using SQL, a language virtually every company uses nowadays. And even at your workplace, if you are using a different variation like Oracle, PostgreSQL or MySQL, you will find that the skills you learn in this course are easily transferable. In this course, I will teach you not only SQL hands-on, but also will give you a chance to test your skills via homework and quiz sections. These skills will help you to excel at your current role or help you to land your first data analysis job. So how this course is structured? In this course, we'll be using a fictitious car business named Modern Cars. Where we sell cars, you will be pretending like data analysts. So the stuff you learn will be easily to apply to your own situation or company. I'll start with database basics and show you how to install SQL Server, creating your first database and start querying data for reporting purpose. We will learn how to sort and filter data. We'll also learn how to group data and join multiple tables. Finally, we'll conclude the course with the real-time call center data analysis. Good luck with your journey as a data analyst. Thanks for watching and see you in the course. Okay, before we install SQL Server and set up the environment, let us have a look. What is SQL and why only Microsoft SQL Server? SQL SQL is often pronounced in one of two ways. You can pronounce it by speaking each letter individually like SQL or pronounce it using the word SQL. So what is SQL? SQL is a programming language used to communicate with data stored in relational database management system. SQL syntax is similar to the English language which makes it relatively easy to write, read, and interpret. SQL means Structured Query Language. Many RDMMS use SQL or many flavors of the SQL in order to access the data in tables. For example, T-SQL is a flavor of SQL which is used to access manipulate data from Microsoft SQL Server which is a popular relational database management system. Some of the popular relational database management systems are PostgreSQL, Oracle Database, DB2 from IBM, and MySQL, which is open source. So why only Microsoft SQL Server? And what is Microsoft SQL Server? SQL Server, it is a database management software that actually does all the work of sorting, retrieving, managing, and manipulating data. SQL Server has been around for a long time and is in use at millions of installations worldwide. Microsoft SQL Server follows a client-server architecture. The server portion is a piece of software that is responsible for all data access and manipulation. This software runs on a computer called Database Server, which you can see in this diagram. Only the server software interacts with the data files. All requests for data, data additions and deletions, and data updates are funneled through the server software. These requests or changes come from computers running client software. The client is a piece of software 
with which the user interacts. If you request an alphabetical list of all products, for example, the client software submits the request over the network to the server software. The server software processes the request, filters, discards and sorts data as necessary and sends the result back to your client software. Some of the popular client softwares include SQL Server Management Studio, Web Pages, and so on. The main reason Microsoft SQL Server is performance. SQL Server is very fast and reliable. Trusted. SQL Server is used by some of the most important and prestigious organizations and sites, all of whom entrust it with their critical data. Integration. SQL Server is tightly integrated with other Microsoft offerings. Nowadays, it's even integrated with Linux operating system. Simplicity. SQL Server is one of the easiest database management system to install. Open your favorite web browser and uh, paste the link, by the way, which I'm going to give into the resource files. Click on uh, download now. Run as administrator. Yes. Here you need to choose um, custom and press install. It's uh, extracting the setup files now. Here we need to choose new SQL Server installation. Accept the license terms and press next. Okay, press next and it will check for the up to date products. And uh, here, just press next. Just unselect uh, all. For this course purpose, we just need the database engine services. And press next. Here, the name instance should be SQL server zero one i'm giving you can uh, give whatever name you like but i'm giving my sql server name as sql server zero one and press next and uh, here just press next Next, this will um, do the installation of SQL Server. Uh, depend upon your computer speed, uh, it may take anywhere between 15 minutes to half an hour. Just play with me then. As you can see here, the SQL Server installation completed. Now we need to install SQL Server management tools to, in order to access the SQL Server database engine. Click on here and download the SQL Server Management Studio open the file as uh, run as administrator press S and click on the install button this will install the SQL Server Management Studio just go ahead and restart the computer Once you log back in, in order to open the SQL Server Management Studio, press the start button and um, you can go through the SQL Server Management Studio here or if you can't find that one, just type SSMS, press enter.
and uh, press on connect here you go in this video we successfully installed sql server database engine and sql server management studio coming keep coming up in the next lessons we'll explore what are the system databases and uh, we create some um, databases and um, create tables and insert some data and uh, we do some more uh, querying of the sql server a huge applause if you have made this so far as i promised before here is a real world project regarding call center data analysis normally the call centers operate over the phone their main channel of communication call centers are designed to handle a massive volume of calls generally call centers are used to handle customer service technical support or sales they can field inbound calls perform outbound calls or sometimes can perform both this is a mock-up data of a call center let us see how to restore the database and as you can see these are the questions has been asked by your manager or your department head to analyze the call details like for example which call queue received least amount of calls on which day the center received most of the calls they're trying to find out on which day it was really busy and uh, which operator received most calls and they're trying to find out which operator is doing the bulk of the work and trying to find out the which hour of the day is the busiest so that they can try to organize some more people on that particular hour and they try to find out the last one is uh, find out the quiet day of the week for inbound calls they're trying to find which department is making least calls and it's also trying to find which number did the outbound team called most of the times they are trying to find out which number as they called most of the times and uh, as you can see which operator made, made most of the calls this is like outbound like which operator is making most of the calls and uh, find the total number of calls made by this person on this particular day the final one is how many calls made by operators from California state that works in help desk department so these are the some of the questions we need to answer so let us jump in hello everyone welcome to our course of data analysis using sql server thanks for stopping by and watching this promo this course is for anyone who wants to enter or excel in the data analytics field why learn data analysis well as they say now we are living in the age of information the internet has made it easy for anyone to gather whatever information that they need to achieve whatever end they desire the applications are now collecting enormous data. There is a massive global shortage of data analytics professional. Do you still want me to give at least one reason why to learn data analysis? I will give you five. I demand for analytics professionals. Huge job opportunities. Great salary aspects. Data analytics is now a top priority in a lot of organizations. Flexibility of working in any sector. A bit of myself. I have more than eight years of experience in data analytics field. I have worked in various domains such as supply chain, telecommunications, and healthcare sector. I have mixed my knowledge and experience using SQL into a short course. What you will learn in this course? We will start from very basics and slowly reach more in-depth modules so that by the end of this course you will have the raw skills to do some real data analysis for your company using SQL, a language virtually every company uses nowadays. And even at your workplace, if you are using a different variation like Oracle, PostgreSQL or MySQL, you will find that the skills you learn in this course are easily transferable. In this course, I will teach you not only SQL hands-on but also will give you a chance to test your skills via homework and quiz sections. These skills will help you to excel at your current role or help you to land your first data analysis job. So how this course is structured? In this course, we'll be using a fictitious car business named Modern Cars. Where we sell cars, you will be pretending like data analysts. So the stuff you learn will be easily to apply to your own situation or company. We'll start with database basics and show you how to install SQL Server, creating your first database and start querying data for reporting purpose. We will learn how to sort and filter data. We'll also learn how to group data and join multiple tables. Finally, we'll conclude the course with the real-time call center data analysis. Good luck with your journey as a data analyst. Thanks for watching and see you in the course.